Yes, this is the best of three. We only have potentially two more games coming up here. Circuit Breakers is going to be game number two. And let's get that started. Rush currently up 1-0 over Mini. I'm curious to see what game number two is going to bring. Circuit Breakers, you know, a lot of people say a lot of things about Circuit Breakers. I am always under the impression that if you get exactly what I'm seeing right here, you're going to have a hard time as a Terran. And let's jump into that. And what exactly do I, do I mean by that? It's when you got cross map positions here. So spotting down here in the bottom right hand corner, it is Rush our Blue Terran currently up 1-0 over their opponent in the top left hand corner. It is Mini, a white Protoss player. Now cross map positions on Circuit Breaker. Oh boy. Oh boy. It does lead to a lot of uh, situations where the Protoss is able to expand in really aggressive ways. Uh, they can get four bases really quickly. Now Terran can do the same, but getting past that fourth base as Terran is very difficult. Uh, some Terrans like to play what I like to call the no rush 20 rule, where they basically just sit on their corner of the map they build up the 200-200, they lay a billion mines down, and they just wait for recalls and everything else, and they kind of just handle them. Uh, meanwhile, they're getting up to like 3-2, and then push out across the map with just a abominable army. Some Terrans like to go for a really heavy aggressive style. We saw Rush play a very heavy aggressive style in game number one. Uh, and that really is going to have to be tailored to what Mini does on the other side of the map. Now, Mini's going for Gateway and Assimilator, so we're not going to be seeing any type of, like, Super Econ 12 Nexus stuff coming out here from Mini. But this doesn't mean that Mini can't play just a very Econ Cheese type of game, um, where, you know, they can potentially go for just a couple of Dragoons and get three bases up really quickly. Uh, at the same time, you can also play a little bit more of a tech-heavy style here too because circuit breakers does allow for uh, a lot of different ways to abuse the mobility of a protoss army like the arbiters have a huge amount of airspace back here um, there's a lot of different angles to come in and just attack a terran uh, specifically the third base the mineral only if the terran doesn't wall properly very easy for mini to go for a lot of gateways and just really pressure in and just keep a constant flow of units there while upgrading, while getting army, while getting uh, another base up, just because you do have that high ground advantage going into that third base. And likewise, because there's so much airspace, Mini can really go for a really heavy carrier style. Um, and that is very popular on this map. Now, the difficult part here with a carrier style play is that you really can't engage easily in the middle of the map, which is where Mini, uh, Mini would have to engage Rush's army, because going from A to B, you go through the middle of the map here. So, Mini would probably have to play this in a very odd style in order to lure the Terran into places where the carriers will dominate, like over the fourth base, and constantly be aggressive there. Uh, that becomes a little bit difficult just to, to imagine right now, so I don't really necessarily think that we'll be seeing a carrier style, but that doesn't mean it's completely ruled out here. I'm not a pro gamer, I don't know all the best things here, right? So we'll have to see exactly how many wants to play this. So far, we're playing very standard. We've got our range on the way. We've got a single gate. And uh, we should be going for our Nexus soon now. Does the goon see the SUV? No. Okay. So we will probably catch that with the second goon. And uh, Rush on the other side of the map. We've got a machine shop coming up. We've got our command center coming down here at 22. We're playing a very standard uh, Karen style. Almost akin to a siege expand. Uh, we're getting a couple of Marines here. We're getting ready for this Dragoon Zealot probe push. We're playing very safe. Then we lose one SCV. Some really fancy firing coming in there. Oh, we lose at least one of those Marines. A second Marine. Wow. The probe got one tap on each of those marines so that the zealot had only two hits to kill it. And now the zealot's now in the middle of the base. That dragoon is still wailing away on SCVs on the other side of the map. Uh, other side of the base. Now it's a marine versus a dragoon. But the siege tank does finally come out. But guess what? Now it's two dragoons. Can't fight that easily here. Uh, looks like we're going to lose one of those dragoons. Is there another dragoon coming out here? No. 
other Dragoon is now going to the bottom left hand corner of the map. If that Dragoon was rallied correctly, it could potentially just do more and more damage. Uh, we do have this third pilot all the way over here, but overall, we are in a lot of trouble here on Mini, uh, on Russia's side of the map. Mini has done a lot of damage here. We're down to one Marine. Second like C check about to pop, but we do get our uh, CC done here. Another SCV getting in here. This is going to be a pivotal SCV just to see what's coming up behind us. It's going to be a Robo Facility. Oh, nice. Nice target fire in there by Rush. Uh, and Rush gets to the scout on Mini. Sees it's still only one gate. So now Mini knows... Well, now Rush knows how to play this next couple of seconds here. But two Dragoons. You know, this is one of those stupid moments where I'd be like, All right, you know what? I killed one Dragoon. Should be fine. Push out. It's only one gate. It should be okay. This is when I'd start losing. Um, but no, Rush is actually playing this pretty much Siege Expand style, which is a very older style, but, you know, it kind of checks out. Um, and I much enjoy this. It's a very defensive style. Uh, it's not the most efficient way to play this map, but it did seem to work out here. Uh, and it looks like Mini is going to opt for another support bay behind this. And go for that third base. That SCV is getting chased down by a Dragoon. The two Dragoons from before. Very hurt. So, a little bit dangerous, actually. Uh, but we did get that second gateway on the other side here for Mini. Rush finally is able to take his natural. Uh, but we also did get plus one started at 6.30. So, we should have a pretty decent timing here. Around 12 minutes of having 2-1 finished up here. Now my question is, how does Rush want to play the rest of this map? Um, took a very heavy beating in the beginning of the game, but, you know, Mini devoted a lot of resources here. Typically at this time, you'd already see a third base kind of moving along if you were to go for a really heavy one gateway style. Uh, instead, because we went for the support bay, the second gateway, Mini is a little bit delayed in what could be a very, very quick econ. But that's okay. You're really like it's not kind of costing Mini that much yet. It really depends on how Rush starts playing this. Rush is starting to get a couple of Goliaths out here. We did get a scan down. What did that scan actually get? I think we did scan that support bay. So what's coming up next? We do have more factories coming down here. It looks like we're going to be going into a, a three factory to expand. And again, this is a very safe style. Uh, and I, I think this is probably going to be the best way to play this. Is you know your opponent is kind of hitting you with a lot of different things right now. You need to play this safe and slow. So it looks like that shuttle is going to come in from the north. Uh, and there it is... Siege tank here. We're going to get one Reaver Scarab off. We're going to actually take out the uh, building missile turret. But I believe... Oh, the Reaver taking a lot of damage. Now the Goliaths have their range up uh, upgrades as well. Got to back out of here. Decent amount of delayed mining time here. And overall, just okay harassment. Uh, we keep everything alive, which is important. Oh, man. The Goliaths jumping in there. That could have been really bad. So yeah, it looks like Rush is going to go for three factories and an expansion. We'll probably see a CC come down soon. Uh, Mini on this side does get that third Nexus up. It looks like we're going to take a really quick fourth Nexus and play more of the Econ heavy expansion style. And I really like this. I think this is a very strong style against Terran on Circuit Breakers. As I said before, there's a lot of different ways that I've seen Protoss's play this in KCM uh, but I really just I think this is the strongest place the le least risky and Mini has been kind of playing a little bit more of a risky style in general it seems like lately uh, with game number one so seeing game number two playing a little bit more of the standard not trying to break you know not trying to break rush immediately style and instead just going to be like water on rock and just eventually wear him down I think that's going to be a little bit better to Mini style Science facility finishes up here. We're going to have 2-1 star, starting now. 
Yep, there's plus two already started. So around 11.30ish, I think we should have... Uh, 11.30, 12 minutes, we should have 2-1 finish up. That actually might lend into a timing. But I'm not seeing any more factories coming down here yet. And uh, it looks like Rush is kind of... Sorry, Mini is starting to set up for the potential of taking out a third or fourth base. Now, a couple of vultures do get over here. One kill. Two kills. So three kills total. And it looks like that will be pushed away. A couple of photon cannons coming down at the fourth base as well. Not really doing that much. Ooh, gonna dog back over to the other side. Scarab gonna chase the vulture down. A little bit of damage there. Just a peckering on the surface. Here. A couple more kills. Very nice. A little bit of uh, mineral line shenanigans to catch up the vultures. But a good, decent amount of damage. I mean, two vultures got like five, six kills. Really well done there. And I mean, any way that you could slow down Mini from getting a billion probes and just going heavy 18 gates, probably the best way you can do it. Uh, so, Rush. Oh, wow. Okay, so, okay. I was like, no way. This is like the most delayed factory timing of all time. The Rush does have that uh, CC coming down here. Looks like we are going to go for that third base. We have, we've got up to 100 supply. This is really like, it's like a really defensive third base coming down here. And this timing's okay. You know, like, just playing it very nice and slow. Uh, and taking your time here. Knowing that your opponent is going for a very aggressive stance here. Wow, three shuttles coming in here. Where are the Reavers? So many Zealots on top of everything. Not many Vultures out here either. We are absolutely destroying everything that Rush had set up for this defense. I was saying he was being overly defensive, but I guess I was wrong. He still wasn't prepared for what Mini had in store here. Now Mini is getting in on the natural. There's only two Siege Tanks up here. One more Siege Tank behind this. Looks like one uh, spider mine. I almost said widow mine. What is it? Starcraft 2? One spider mine almost connecting, but it did get uh, snapped up at the last second. And now the CC is under siege. A lot of dragoons wailing on it. And if that goes down, I think honestly that's GG. That is a difficult thing to deal with. Being on two bases to a four base toss, who's now up to nine gates. Ten gates shortly up uh, soon. I'm throwing a bunch of uh, vultures out here as well. Those vultures, there's like, you know, one of the things that I constantly hear is you don't really want to lose a bunch of vultures and kind of push them into win if you don't really necessarily have 200-200 already. Oh man, it looks like it's going to be a storm drop. There's a single missile turret over here. And there we go. Oh my god, amazing storm. Six, seven SCVs getting caught there. And pushing away all of the SCVs at the natural. That's 50% of the mining is now just gone. But it looks like we're going to respond with a couple of vultures and dragoons over here at the fourth. I just don't see this possibly doing that much damage. Uh, we're down to 46 SCVs, which is okay for two bases. But at 13 minutes, you want to be higher than two bases. Yeah, there are a lot of zealots coming over here. We're going to put down a couple of mines and back up. I don't think... Yeah, those zealots don't have speed yet. It's actually a pretty good defensible position. But we do have to play a little bit careful here. Defensive Matrix going down on the siege tank. The vultures trying to catch all of those zealots as they come in here. But a reaver dropping on top of the army is going to put a stopper on that. We've pretty much stopped all types of damage here. And now we're going to catch two more siege tanks here. Yeah, there's the GG. Without able to do that much damage, it looks like Mini is going to tie up the series 1-1 one -one versus Rush. Wow. I gotta say, I thought Rush was being overly defensive and taking that very nice and slow, and I thought that was like, you know what? It's slow, but it's steady. It, it's going to win the race, but Mini just had too much prepared there.